Pow, 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 pow. Get it, Xerxes. Get it, Xerxes. Get it, Xerxes. Man, I'm so happy for Joshua Xerxes, first of all, to get a brace at home when you're low on confidence. This is exactly what you need. Um, the other reason for why I'm really, really ecstatic for Xerxes is the fact that, um, you know, the competition now that is starting to grow and brew between Xerxes and Hoyland is exactly what we need. This is how the competition starts. And I hope that next time around when um, Hoyland is playing, he can also respond and with his brace because this is what it's all about competition for places that's how you get a successful squad and um, another thing that I want to point out today is Ahmad Diallo for me Ahmad Diallo is somebody that needs more appreciation and more love because his he's just class and I'm not saying this because I'm from Africa and he's from Africa I'm just saying this because I see class because class recognize class if you know what i'm saying so he's got the potential to keep growing and have a very 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 high output season and i really hope this season is uh amadiello season and he can go on and just give us performance after performance like that because his work defensively and offensively ah, salute chapeau matter of fact um, Ahmad Diallo for me is one of our standout play players, one of three standout players for Manchester United um, that deserves special shout out. And obviously, Onana today was also immense. Andre Onana, Appreciation Society, please stand up. Please, please stand up because we have to give flowers to our boy and he is having one hell of a season, you know. Highest in the league in terms of clean sheets. Um, incredible presence, incredible um, confidence that he gives to his teammates. So I want to give the respect to Andre Onana, considering that he had a very difficult first season. And let's not, let's not forget that it takes time to adjust. It takes time to get the best of yourself, you know? And sometimes people give up because they expect things to happen in a switch. But it's not like that for everybody. Talking about time to adjust, I have to give the flowers to men like Bow, 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 Jay-Z. Now, I'm one of those people that has stood up for Joshua Xerxes. I'm one of those people that realizes that this guy has some ingredients. He may not be the typical striker that you want. For Man United, but guess what? The goal that Marcus Rashford is because of Joshua Xerxes. He's the one that found um, Ahmad Diallo. He's the one that is linking up things. I've been chastised and criticized for saying, you know, Xerxes has link up play. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we saw link up play. Today, I was impressed with Joshua Zexi's performance and um, as I said I really hope it, it's the beginning of a really healthy competition between Xerxes and Hoyland. Special shout out has to go to um, Mazrawi again another stellar performance. Mazrawi can't put a foot wrong right now. Mazrawi is in contention for best fullback in the Premier League hands down this season. He is doing it, and I love it. Another African brother that deserves this, the applause and the, 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 the accolades. I want to also say big up to uh, Bruno Fernandes here, especially in the second half. Bruno Fernandes impressed me. I really rated his performance. Um, a great assist. And uh, yeah, step by step, Ruben's red army is a rumbling, you know, is a ravaging the the scene so i hope everybody can realize that we're on the verge of something great and it's i know part of it is still the honeymoon period but the true 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 journey starts when things just go clicking and when you win four nil by four nil margin come on by a four goal margin in a premier league eric ten Hag has never done that eric ten Hag has denied me some really 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 um, 
uh, feasts of football, some really big feasts of football, and Ruben Amarim is cooking. So I respect, I uh, appreciate, I am grateful, I am honored today to call myself a Manchester United fan because of the performance that the whole team, not just the individuals that I mentioned, but the whole team was really working well together. Shout out, special shout out to Kobe Maynard. It's nice to see him come back after injury. I also want to say I give a big shout out to um, 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 what's his name? Rashford was all right. Rashford, you know, when he, things are not good, I gotta say it. And Rashford was really, really, you know, took his chances. He was decent. He was really decent today. He scored his goal for a beautiful pass from um, Ahmad Diallo, obviously. Um, and uh, yeah, that all, that's because there was a good run from Marcus Rashford so into, this, into the half space. So big, big, big applause for Rashford. So far, so good. So far, you know, the Rashford Resurrection Project is still in progress. So I'm only, only looking forward now to the next Man United game. And it's all because of this team and this manager, Ruben Amorim. Mm. Great selection, great use of your substitutions. All of a sudden, the club feels like we've got squad depth, you know. This is incredible. This is what I love to see. This, these are the times I dreamed of. Ruben's Red Army marching on. My name is Botswana Papi. This is the Football Power Hour. I strongly, strongly, strongly thank you for being here and listening to this. And I'm curious what your thoughts are on this game. 4-0. To Everton. Arsenal, we're coming for you. Be careful now. <laughs>